um, uh, last summer, so it was probably, I don't know, 10, 10, 9, 10 months ago, he was playing basketball out on the driveway and he had, you know, a little eight-year-old boy climbed up on the basketball hoop, the, the, um, the pole of it, and he fell backwards onto, there happened to be a bucket full of sand to kind of keep the basketball hoop in the ground. And he fell, his back hit the, the bucket and he came inside and had a pretty big welt of, you know, the, the bucket, um, outline. And within an hour, he also was wrestling with his brother and got bopped in the nose really hard to the point where he had a bloody nose. So anyway, it was two insults to his body real quick. And they were, they were bad ones. I mean, for, for even though I know rough and tumble little boys, but these were bad ones. And he, um, within about 12 hours, I started noticing that he developed a tick. And so initially it looked like a, like what I just did, like a backwards hiccup. hiccup. Um, so I thought he was hiccuping, but then it, over the next month, it, uh, we got scared because it started moving into where he would do this eye roll tick and he would do the <clears throat> like throat clearing tick. Um, and the body ones were really, they, they were giving him headaches because he just kept bopping up and down. He was getting car sick all of a sudden. I mean, it just, it was scary. And of course, as a mom, I jumped on, you know, the internet and, and met some other moms on these tick disorder boards. And we immediately went into like, um, getting him tested for allergies. I had, I had him going through an allergy program. We did homeopathy. We did herbs. Um, I also brought him to a couple local chiropractors, again, thinking that this might be structural considering the, the accidents that preceded this. And he, um, it, nothing was really working. I had him on some vitamins, um, just all the things that these boards were recommending I was trying and maybe there was some, um, benefit, but, but they were still there and he would come home from school and he would be so sad because not only were kids noticing, but he didn't feel good. Like he was getting headaches from this. So I had actually just met Dr. Anderson, um, you know, about a month prior to me thinking, okay, you know what? I'm going to bring my son up there. So I brought him up and within the first adjustment, Grady's ticks were down 95%. I actually only noticed um, two between the first and second adjustment. I noticed two bobs, which was amazing. Normally, he'd be sitting on the couch bobbing up and down the whole time. So I brought him back in for the second adjustment. And since the second adjustment, he's been great. Um, no ticks. He doesn't even like talk about, I mean, we don't talk about it. It's a completely, it's a chapter in our family that we've moved past. And I'm really thankful for that. And even if the nice thing is, is that, you know, he's a rough and tumble boy. If there is another insult to his body, we now have the answer, which is so nice that if they come back or, you know, he's a hockey player, if he gets hit in hockey and they, you know, his nervous system kind of flares up again. Um, I'm just really thankful that we know of ABC I really don't know, you know, I wouldn't be doing good and my son wouldn't be doing good if we hadn't found ABC. And that's the truth. I mean, I, I have not made a testimonial video like this ever um, because nothing has been so substantial in our lives. So I hope that helps you understand ABC or make a decision, but it's been really beneficial for me and my family.